you say that Armageddon, mm. which we talk about all we the time. We talk about all the time. Armageddon, you say, violates more laws of physics per minute than any <laughs> other film ever made. <laughs> okay, so, yes, more laws of physics per minute than any other movie ever made, ever, okay? I That's what I thought until... I saw Moonfall. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay. It was a pandemic film came out, you know, uh, Halle Berry and the moon is approaching earth and they learned that it's hollow and there's a moon being made out of rocks living inside of it. And the Apollo missions were really to visit, to feed the moon being. And I, and I just couldn't. I, so I said, all right, I thought Armageddon had, <laughs> had a secure hold on this crown, but apparently not. <laughs> I was also, you actually say it would be so much more simple than in that movie to actually, like, throw an asteroid off its path. If yeah. it's, if it's hurt, hurtling toward us. You're like, kick it out of the way. <laughs> All you got to do is just nudge it. And if you do that early enough, if you nudge it like one centimeter per second to the right, it, in space, there's no friction. So it'll just keep drifting to the right. If you do that early enough then you can have the asteroid pass in front of the Earth rather than hit the Earth. Or you can slow it down so that it'll pass behind the Earth. Two ways you can you can um, adjust it. So, yeah, you know what it's like? It's like the Terminator thing where I, I want to kill your parents so that you're never born. Really? Like, all you have to do is prevent your parents from meeting each other or <laughs> have them have sex 20 minutes later than the other ones <laughs> That cr will create a different zygote, and you won't be born. So, so, so the movies go in some cases go they they, they get hyperbolic on their solutions to problems. 